Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today, I need a vacation. I haven't gone on a vacation since October of 2019. And like so many other people, I just want to go somewhere. And I wait impatiently for the day that I can actually go. But until then, I'm going to have to make up my own vacations and my own little getaways, whether they're real or not. And so today, I am making myself a getaway to the last paradise. Thanks to Yankee Candle's latest spring summer collection, The Last Paradise. So according to Yankee, they're saying The Last Paradise is an escape at home, which honestly, I need. They say explore a world of sheer natural beauty filled with lush, untouched jungles, hidden beaches, and unexpected fruits and flavors. So I went ahead and made this purchase online and I actually got it about a week ago. But when I went to make the purchase online, pretty much all of the candles in the small jar size were sold out. And I didn't want to commit to large jars without actually smelling the scents. So instead, I went ahead and got myself the centerpiece cups. So if you don't know, Yankee Candle has this system that probably came out with within the last five years, I think, but it is the centerpiece with easy melt cups. So basically, these melt cups give about 24 hours of melt time, but they are just the wax in the cup you buy one of their warmers that have the perfect little holder for this cup. You take the lid off, you put the cup in, you hit the on button, and the wax melts. You get the fragrance, but you're not actually burning this wax. There are five scents in this new Last Paradise collection. And as I said, because I couldn't get them in the candle form, I was fortunate enough that all five scents are available or were available at the time that I ordered in melt cup form. I'm gonna take off my glasses now. <laughs> and now I'm like, ooh, it is so much brighter in here. Maybe I should put them back on. So here are all five scents, and I feel like I accidentally made this very ombre. I just kind of put them, like, caught them out of the box and put them in here. But the five are Beach Escape, Moonlit Cove, Cliffside Sunrise, Tropical Starfruit, and Coconut Island. So here they all are, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open them up, smell them, get my first impressions. And I'm also going to read what Yankee has given as descriptions of what the scent notes are. But I will say, before I smell them, because I haven't smelled any of them yet, I'm, my biggest amount of excitement, my, I'm, I am really excited for the tropical star fruit. A few years ago, they had a tropical star fruit and orange. I think that was the candle. This was like way before I started making YouTube videos. And I just remember that scent. And I really loved it. And star fruit, I feel like, is something that I don't necessarily see very often. And so when the collection was announced, I saw it in my email. I was very excited for the potential of a delicious star fruit candle. I don't even know if I'm going to like the star fruit, but in my mind, it is it is like my favorite already out of the collection. It's the one I have the most anticipation for. So first, I'm just going to start with Moonlit Cove. Oh, and I guess I should say that if you're interested in the melt cups, they are 2.2 ounces or 61 grams. And when I bought them without a coupon before taxes, they were $5.50 each. They usually, they, Yankee Candle will sometimes run, you know, like a promotion with the, the melt cups, but there wasn't when I bought this one. Although I will say, I think I used Rakuten when I made this purchase. That was kind of the only discount that I got. So here's Moonlit Cove. Now, oops, I will say, Yankee says it's bright and zesty with a hint of sweet. These fragrances are energizing and refreshing. The fragrance notes 
are top notes of citrus, lemongrass, and ginger. Mid purslane, I have no idea what that is. Nutmeg, rainbow uh, eucalyptus, uh, and a base, base notes of sea wash amber and cedar leaf. And they're considering this part of the citrus collection. So it has this beautiful blue teal. Would you say this is teal? Uh, I guess I would say this is blue wax and Hmm. This one's. This is nice. Now, of course, I'm not warming these, and if you warm wax, sometimes the scent notes can change, and uh, it can give you a different impression of the candle or the wax. This smells like it would make a really nice bar of soap. <laughs> Which is not necessarily what I think they were going for. But there's there's a little bit of spice to it. But it's really just like a calming scent with just like a like at the end there's just like a little bit of spice when you smell it. Let's see if I can pick up on what is what. I'm gonna say that what I'm smelling as the the spice is the bit of ginger and nutmeg that are in these candle that, that are in these wax. I'm gonna by default I'm just gonna say candle, but you know what I mean. But yeah. And I think the clean is coming from the lemongrass, a little bit of the eucalyptus, but the calming is also from the amber. I like this one. I would buy this one in candle form. But yeah, I, I really like this one so far. Next, we are gonna go with Cliffside Sunrise, which is this beautiful pink color, and here's the lid. So Yankee says, this is the reward for your early outing. A warm breeze carries notes of exotic fruits and flowers as the first morning light reflects off the water. And the fragrance notes, there are top notes of hibiscus, strawberry, Dwarf citrus, mid notes of nectarine, red fruit, and geranium, and base notes of champagne, nectar, and praline. Ooh. All right, and so this is part of the fruity family. Here's what the wax looks like. So on cold, the strawberry is coming through pretty much as the primary scent. And I feel like, didn't they just have like a white strawberry Bellini candle wax within the last few years? I feel like this is very similar to potentially that without smelling it side by side. This also smells I don't have any nearby, but like Champagne Toast from Bath and Body Works, I feel like this is very reminiscent. Hmm, it's nice, don't get me wrong, it's very nice. I don't think it's unique in any way. But I like it. But like I said, I feel like this might be something that Yankee has already done under other candle scents and definitely very similar in my mind to Bath and Body Works candles. Um, and like I said, champagne toast just keeps coming to mind. So nice, but not unique. So next we're gonna go with Coconut Island. Here you go. This is the label, if it ever focuses. There we go. So it says, after a day of exploring, experience the aromas of the island, expired by a creamy shake made fresh at the outdoor stand, rich with coconut, pineapple, and a touch of spice. The fragrance notes, there's top notes of pineapple, bergamot, alemi, mid notes of cinnamon, jasmine, and nutmeg, base notes of rice, milk, coconut, and curry. And they're saying that this is part of their sweet and spicy family. So the wax color is this beige. Ooh, okay. Ooh, girl. So, I 
I feel like that curry base note is actually coming through this. Like, I'm not smelling offhand without warming it, the top or the mid notes that I mentioned. But this definitely has, I can, I could pick out coconut. But it isn't, I always like to say like sunscreen coconut versus like tropical drink coconut. It's neither of those. It really is kind of like Thai food curry coconut. It's nice on cold. I have a concern that if I was warming this, well, I am going to warm all of these, but I have a concern if I was burning this that I think that I would kind of find this headache inducing after a while that the, um, the curry notes, those like spicier notes would potentially give me a headache. So I feel like out of the three that I've smelled so far, this is my least favorite. I'm actually kind of lining them up in the order that I want, I feel like is my favorite versus not favorite on cold. So and next up is Beach Escape. Yankee says, discover a shady spot under the palms to take in the tranquil ocean views. Fresh sea air, bright flowers, and warm wood and reflect on your day in paradise. So the top notes are ozone, which I freaking hate when these companies are putting notes. Like I appreciate that they give the notes, but it's also like with Bath and Body Works where they give like, it's like mountain air. It's like, what is mountain air? Like, which mountain? Which region of the world are you in? Are you above the tri tree line? Are you like in the snow-capped mountains? Or are you at the bottom? You know, like, it's just like very vague. And I feel like when you say, to me, ozone is one of those ones where it's very vague. And I'm like, what part of the ozone? The part that's being destroyed by man? Or, you know, the part that isn't? <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, I'm, I spoke too soon. Next one, watery. So there's ozone, watery notes. Again, what type of watery are we talking about? Like watery notes of what? Like decomposition, <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't even speak because I'm so confused sometimes by these notes. Green palm, mid notes of sea isle, maguette, jasmine, dandelion, base notes of barley grass, musky, and woody. And this is part of the floral. So I feel like out of the ones that I've read so far, this is the most vague. They're just like, we just threw words on a board and that's what the description of this scent is. On first glance, I didn't really say this about the other three, but I feel like for the cliffside sunrise, the coconut island and this one, I feel like I wouldn't even know if this was a new candle. Like if I just saw this on the shelf, the packaging, image and the wax color doesn't stand out to me as something that's unique so but let's see what it smells like and maybe that will change my impression of it so out of all of this i am getting that jasmine scent and i think it's because I am not a fan of jasmine scents. Jasmine is one of those scents that every time I smell it, I just I just feel like it is headache city. Like it's a fast pass to a headache or a migraine. You know, if I keep smelling it. <sighs> yeah, I I mean Ugh. I don't I don't like this one personally it's not the worst candle that I've ever smelled but for me but as I just explained Jasmine is one of those scents where I just 
don't do well with jasmine candles. I feel like sometimes lilac is also one of those ones. Not so much, but sometimes just with the candles and the other notes that it's paired with, it's very um, headache inducing. I know uh, I have a friend that vanilla, okay, vanilla scents set her off. Like they instantly give her headache. But, but, you know, I can have vanilla for the most part and it doesn't bother me. Jasmine, that is, is what it does to me. Okay. So now I have saved the one that I am the most excited about for last. This is Tropical Star Fruit in this beautiful yellow wax color. And Yankee says, kissed by the sun, juicy star fruit, pineapple, and citrus just picked from the grove and offered at the local market. I feel like that doesn't make sense. But okay. Um, uh, fragrance notes, top notes, juicy grapefruit, pineapple, ocean breeze accord, mid notes, jasmine. Oh no, no, jasmine, lily, star fruit, base notes, vanilla, agave, and plum. And this is part of the fruity family. All right, so now I'm a little bit nervous because I did not know there would be jasmine in this one. And here's the color of the wax. Oh no. I feel like this one could go either way for me. I feel like if I warm this one, I could either really enjoy it or I can hate it. And it almost smells like a piece of bubble gum to me. Maybe a juicy fruit? <sighs> I don't know. I'm kind of sad because I'm nervous for this one. It's not what I thought it would smell like. But I feel like it is a little bit different than what Yankee pumps out on a regular basis, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So I have just smelled all five of the Last Paradise collection scents that are the summer, spring and summer for Yankee Candle 2021 collection. If I'm going to rank them, which I am, based on first impressions alone, not warming the wax, just a simple smell of the, the wax on cold, I would have to say my least favorite so far is Beach Escape. Next we have Tropical Star, next we have Tropical Star Fruit. I'm a little nervous for that one. Coconut Island comes in the middle. Then second from the ones I enjoyed the most, we have Cliffside Sunrise. And then the one out of just first impressions on cold that I enjoyed the most, I pick Moonlight, Moonlit Cove. So it's not always gonna the zoom in. Now I did buy two other things. While I was there, I say while I was there, as in, as in I ordered online. I bought two car air fresheners. They're nothing special. They're old scents, but they're scents of Yankee that I enjoy. I bought the Pink Sands car jar, and I bought one of my favorites from Yankee, Honey Clementine. I feel like this is a really great scent. So. Those were the items that I bought from Yankee's website. Again, it was the five new scents from the latest collection called The Last Paradise, and then two car jar air fresheners of just scents that have been around for a while. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my little mini Last Paradise getaway with Yankee Candle's new collection. If you liked any of this or found any of it helpful, please think about giving a thumbs up and subscribing. Until next time, I hope you guys all stay well.
bye